So I will go ahead and call this Board of Selectmen meeting for the Town of Adams to order on Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Pursuant to Governor Baker's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law and the governor's orders imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place, as well as DPH's designation of red for the town of Adams, this meeting of the town of Adams Board of Selectmen is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public has been permitted, but every effort has been made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings as provided for in the order. Attending remotely are all our members of the Board of Selectmen, including myself, Chair Christine Hoyt, Vice Chair Rick Blanchard, and attending by phone is Selectman Joe Novak. We have posted today's agenda in accordance with open meeting law, which included the call-in information for today's meeting. And despite our best efforts, if we're not able to provide for real-time access for the public to participate in today's meeting, a recording can be made available upon request. Recording in progress. As this meeting is being recorded using the Zoom platform. As we are participating remotely, please note that all votes taken during this meeting will be done so by a roll call vote. I will state the member's name, ask for their vote for each vote necessary today. So I will restate for the record now that I am recording um, that myself, Christine Hoyt, uh, Rick Blanchard and Joe Novak are members of the Board of Selectmen who are in attendance. We also have with us Deb Dunlap, who is the Administrative Assistant for the Town Administrator and the Board of Selectmen. Attorney uh, Ed St. John III, who is Town Council. We have Holly Jaco from the uh, Adams Library. And with her is uh, the ratification of the library ad, uh, Natasha Beauchene. We have members of the media, Jack Garino of iBerkshires.com, Scott Stafford from Berkshire Eagle and Northern Berkshire Community Television, who is helping to televise this meeting for us. And we have Michael Tatro, sorry that I spelled your name incorrectly first. Um, Michael is here with uh, National Grid because we do have a public hearing scheduled for 7.10 p.m. Um, I think that I have covered everybody who is in the virtual room with us. Uh, so with that, I will go ahead and ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the, to flag, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, of America and, to, and the to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. The first, or, first order of business is the approval of minutes for the March 31st, 2021 workshop. I'll make a motion the board waive a reading of the minutes and approve them as provided for the March 31st, 2021 minutes. I have a motion by uh, Member Blanchard. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, it is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It is a yes from Christine, so that is unanimous. That brings us to public comment. Is there anyone on the call who wishes to speak to the Board of Selectmen today? Hearing none, I will go ahead and close public comment. Uh, I will keep an eye on time. Uh, we are at 7.05 p.m., so we do have uh, five minutes before our public hearing. So I will move on to new business um, item A, which is the ratification of DPW seasonal laborers. Um, we do have a ratification letter here. Dear Chairman Hoyt, this letter is to advise the Board of Selectmen that subject to the Board's ratification as provided in Section 10 of the Town Charter, the following individuals have been appointed as seasonal laborers for the Department of Public Works. Ryan Booty, Mike Durant, David Holt, 
Sean Marco, and Marcus Leak. Mike Durant, David Holt, Sean Marco, and Marcus Leak have worked for the town in this capacity in the past and are returning to augment the DPW full-time staff for this season. Subject to hiring requirements, DPW seasonal laborers will begin immediately at the rate of $13.50 per hour. The town administrator did state that they did go through the process of interviews. Um, these are routine appointments. Uh, and they three of them actually uh, helped to prepare the cemetery last week in time for a funeral. So most of them are returning from previous years. There is funding for them to uh, finish this year and there is funding in the budget for fiscal 22. Madam Chair, I'll make a, a motion that the board ratify the appointments of Ryan Booty, Mike Durant, David Holt, Sean Marco, and Marcus Lee to as seasonal laborers. Okay, I have a motion by Member Blanchard. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, it is a roll call vote. Uh, Rick. Yes. Joe. Yes. It's a yes from Christine, so that is unanimous. The next item on the agenda is the ratification of the library aid and cataloger, um, Natasha Beauchene. I have a letter here. Uh, Dear Chairman Hoyt, this letter is to advise the Board of Selectmen that subject to the Board's ratification, as provided in Section 10 of the Town Charter, Natasha Beauchene has been appointed to the position of library aid for the Adams Free Library. Ms. Beauchene's skills, demeanor, and references indicate that she will be a good fit with the current library staff. We look forward to having her join the library team and our community in this capacity. Upon your ratification and the passing of all hiring requirements, Ms. Beauchene will begin the position effective April 26, 2021 at the grade four step one rate of $15.56 per hour, respectfully submitted, Jay Green, town administrator. Uh, Jay did send us a note today letting us know that this position is budgeted for fiscal 22 and is replacing a retiring employee. Uh, this will maintain the library staffing at normal levels, and I will turn things over to the director of the library who is on the call and can introduce Tasha. Hello. So uh, thank you for letting us get this on the agenda. And um, we are looking forward to filling this position. Um, it is a retirement. Um, one of our staff retired uh, this past fall. And um, we are looking forward to having Natasha work with us. Um, her, uh, she comes highly recommended from her references and uh, her background and education make her an excellent candidate for this position. So Natasha, do you have anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I would just like to say um, thank you for having me on the call. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, starting at the library. I'm very passionate about it. So thank you. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Tasha. Sue, would anyone like to make a motion to ratify this appointment? I'll make a motion that the board ratify the appointment of Natasha Boshane to the position of library aide. I have a motion by member Blanchard. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by member Novak. Any discussion? Uh, yes, just out of curiosity, i like to ask, um, is, is Natasha from the town of Adams? I'm, I'm from Dalton. Okay, I, I just asked that question. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. If there's no other discussion, it is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It is a yes from me. That is unanimous. Welcome to the Town of Adams, Tasha. Welcome to the team at the library, and I appreciate both of you being on the call this evening. Okay. So I will... Um, it is now 7.11 p.m., so my apologies, Michael, who's on the call, waiting for a public hearing. Um, we do have on the agenda to go into a public hearing 
Uh, National Grid has a petition for pole and wire locations. Um, it's 530 feet southeast of the center line of the intersection of Friend Street to service house at 60 West Burt Street. So I do need a motion to go into the public hearing. So moved. And uh, do I have a second? Second. It is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It's a yes from Christine. So that is unanimous. And we are now in the public hearing. Um, I will uh, turn things over to Michael Tatro from National Grid to walk us through that. I will just let you know um, a butter notifications were sent out uh, by the town of Adams on March 31st regarding this application and public hearing. The Zoom link and call-in information was part of that notice. Um, and I know that uh, Michael is on the call to answer any questions, address any concerns, um, and discuss this topic. Um, I don't think that there's anything else that I need to share at this point. So Michael, if you wanted to um, talk to us a little bit about this application. Thank you, Christine. Yes, the home number 60, they recently did a, an addition and their, their old service was had an aerial trespass from the existing pole number three that cut across their lot to serve that home. There was, there was different rules back in the day when those houses were probably built. So we wanna put another pole on the side of the road in the town take to uh, serve that home number 60 and we won't have an aerial trespass there. And then if the property above ever gets developed, the, There'll be one more poll already in place. Um, that's that's what we want to do. Okay. Any there any questions? Sure. Are, are there any questions for Michael? Do we receive any correspondence from uh, the butters? I did not receive anything, and Deb is shaking her head that we did not. And we're looking for an easement? Not an easement. We we get we usually petition the town for permission to set our equipment in the town take, you know, the side of the road. And so we have to get every town's blessings before we, we can't just put any equipment in the ground. We have to have permission, whether it's on private property or public property. So then they'll be on the tax rolls. We'll be paying tax on that infrastructure and we'll have permission to maintain the wires and the pole on in its location. Okay. Uh, well, I, I will make a motion to the board grant permission. Wait, wait, hold on. Rick, before you do that, we're still in public hearing. So I do have to just see if there's any other comments from public, I do have to ask that question, although I don't see too many members of the public on the call. Okay, and then I'll entertain a motion to come out of public hearing. So moved. Okay, and do I have a second to come out of the public hearing? Second. Okay, it is a roll call vote, so Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It's a yes from Christine. So that is unanimous. So we are back in session. Rick, if you want to make a motion, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion that the board grant permission to National Grid for the placement of a pole to serve as 60 Friend Street. 60 West Burt Street. West Burt. It's West Burt. Okay. Any questions? I have a motion by Rick. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay. I'll open it up for discussion. Yes, I just have uh, one question regarding abutters. What's the, what determines the abutters? Um, when uh, letters were sent out uh, notifying abutters, who are abutters and who uh, received the uh, notification? 
Deb, would you like to unmute yourself? Yeah, thank you. So the abutters were just the properties that were touching the property that's going to be having the adjustment made with the pole. There were only two of them, and I don't know their names off the top of my head, but there were only the, the two that were just on the either side of that residence. Okay, thank you very much. Any other questions or discussion? Hearing none, it is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It is a yes from me, so that is unanimous. Michael, thank you very much for calling in and, and talking us through that petition from National Grid. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good evening, everyone. You too. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us down to new business item C um, to set the town meeting date for Monday, June 21st, 2021. Um, I will uh, just let you know that um, we are looking to once again hold an outdoor town meeting as we had done uh, in September. And uh, we have contacted um, officials at Bow Field to see if the date would work for them um, and use of the space. And it is my understanding that the logistics would be uh, similar, if not exactly the same as uh, the town meeting we had in September, where there will be a tent, audio, et cetera, um, planned for. So the earliest we, earlier we set the town meeting date, the earlier we can start booking all of those items because uh, we will have to sign some contracts for those items. Okay, I make a motion that the board set the town meeting date as Monday, June 21st, 2021. I have a motion by member Blanchard. Do I have a second? Um, I'll second that, but um, within the motion, can the time uh, be incorporated also? The time is yet to be determined. Okay, the time is yet to be determined. Okay, I'll rescind that. Okay. And so, I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Hearing none, it is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. It's a yes from Christine, so that is unanimous. Um, item D is to open up the town meeting warrant um, for any citizens' petitions that would like to come forward. This is... Um, the practice of the Board of Selectmen to open up the town meeting warrant. It will be open um, for two weeks. So what would the close date be with the opening of the 22nd? So I believe it would be closed May, May 6th. I think that we, uh, I think it was on the Agenda for May 5th to close it on May 6th, officially. Right. That was probably to open it effective today. Yes. 22nd. But today's gone. So. Yep. So we can open it effective tomorrow and leave it open. Okay. I'll make a motion. I'm looking past my computer at a calendar. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm watching all this on mine, so <laughs> I can't see my uh, date <laughs> or calendar. Okay. I'll make a motion that the board open the warrant effective April 22nd, 2021, to be closed on May 6, 2021, okay. at close of business. Okay. I have a motion by Member Blanchard. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, it is a roll call vote. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. And it's a yes from Christine. So that is unanimous. Um, for department reports, um, 
I did receive a call from Jay right around six o'clock that he did have uh, a personal matter that came up this evening and uh, therefore would not be able to attend uh, tonight's meeting. He does send his regrets for not being able to attend and therefore there will not be an official report from the town administrator. So with that, I will move to the uh, department report of town council. Uh, thank you. Since my last report on April 7th, I responded to a board request concerning the need for an entertainment license at the Adams Agricultural Fair. I received research and responded to a question concerning a Public Records Act request from the Board of Health. The board's response was appealed to the Secretary of State's office. I spoke with a staff member of the Secretary of State's office several times to provide information relevant to the request. I received and reviewed the Secretary of State's response to the appeal. The Secretary of State determined that the issue appealed, that is whether minutes of an executive session that dealt with privacy concerns must be disclosed, should be brought to the Attorney General. No further action on the town's part is needed at this time. I received and forwarded to staff an updated purchase and sale agreement for the 26 Commercial Street parcel. I received and responded to another Public Records Act request from the Treasurer Collector. I attended the April 14th Board of Health hearing, or a portion of it, I should say, and I provided an opinion concerning a conflict of interest question. Thank you, Ed. Um, I know that you had sent me the um, information about the entertainment license at the Adams Agricultural Fair. I was going to report out on that at this meeting because this is the next opportunity to inform the board. But is that something you wanted to discuss? I do have your, your email here that I can read unless you would like to comment on it. Well, it's probably better to read the email. I mean, what I was what I would say about it is is that if the um, if the agricultural fair is entertaining a, a, the idea of having a concert, and I think that was what was mentioned that the um, the the chapter and the statute that I quoted in my email to you is mm -hmm. is pertinent to this and it would require that an entertainment license be obtained, not so much as to entertain or think about denying the request so much as to address any public health and safety and traffic concerns and the like, so that uh, you're not uh, dealing with a situation where you have uh, crowding and uh, serious traffic issues and health issues. So um, I, it's obvious, to me, it's obvious that it's necessary. And the two statutes um, that uh, council uh, was referencing is uh, Mass General Law Chapter 140, Section 181. And then um, if the event occurs on a Sunday, it would be Mass General Law Chapter 136, Section 4. So, Right. I just wanted to make sure. So that was a discussion at our last meeting and just wanted to report out at this meeting. So thank, thank you. you. Are there any um, other questions for town council? Okay, I'm, I'm hearing none. So I think think you're good, Ed. Okay, thanks. <laughs> this might be the earliest we got to town council's report. It is very early, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. All right, that brings us to um, subcommittee and liaison reports. Uh, Rick. I have nothing. Okay, Joe. I have nothing. Okay, and neither do I. Uh, announcements and good of the order. Rick? Nothing. Okay. Joe? I have nothing. Okay. I have one announcement. It is from the town clerk. Uh, just a reminder that Monday, May 3rd is the town election day. Polls will be open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and again, voting will take place at the DPW garage on North Summer Street. Um, Residents do have until Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, April 27th, um, for mail-in voting. Uh, so please contact the town clerk's office if you are, are interested in doing a mail-in um, vote. And 
If you are interested in seeing what the specimen ballots look like, those can be found on the town's website, on the town clerk's page under the elections and voting information. So um, I encourage people to please get out and vote on Monday, May 3rd. Um, the only other thing is just to remind uh, the board that we do have a workshop on Monday, uh, this coming Monday, April 26th at 6 p.m. It'll be our last budget workshop before we vote on the budget on Tuesday, April 27th. Um, both of those meetings will be at 6 p.m., both being held in person at Memorial School in the gymnasium. Um, and the agenda for the 26th has been posted uh, and the agenda for the 27th will be posted uh, by the end of the day tomorrow. With that, I don't think that there's any other business that is to come before the Board of Selectmen this evening. So then I will make a motion to adjourn. I have a motion by Member Blanchard. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Um, Rick? <laughs> I call, guess call, for a historically short meeting, yes. <laughs> Joe? Yes. It is a yes for me. So we are adjourned at 727 p.m. I wish all of you a, a good evening and thank you so much for um, being part of our meeting tonight. So. <coughs> Excuse me.